YouTube. This is Numus Master 9000. This is the first episode of Set Guides. We're going to be talking about the Kennedy Half Dollar Mint Mark set. Now, this set, this set is a low-end set, but if you are a low-end collector and maybe want to breach into more of the medium-end collector, you can upgrade your Kennedy Half Dollar set uh, from a Mint Mark to a Variety set. And I'm going to be talking about some of the varieties in the Kennedy Half Dollar set and some of the key dates and the good stopper dates for the Kennedy Half Dollars. First things first, the 1964 proof heavily accented hair. Now, according to the Whitman 2011 Red Book, the 1964 proof heavily accented hair is at a $40 for proof 65. That's more leaning towards medium, but if you're a low-end collector, I could uh, imagine saying go over your price range for one coin, say you have a couple of money saved up if you want to upgrade your Kennedy half dollar set, which takes only two purchases. It takes the 1964 heavily accented hair and the 1974D double die. Those are the only, and I repeat, only varieties other than the 1979S, Filled S, and Clear S, which you can get too. Now, the 1974D Double Die goes for about $50 in Mint State 63, and the 1970S Filled S, 1979S Filled S, is $5 in proof, but the 1979S Clear S is about $20. So, if you want to uh, purchase some of the varieties for that, that seems cool. Anyway, um, ways to get a hold of Kennedy Half Dollars. Now, this is a set that you can get from Coin Raw Hunting mainly because it's still in circulation. This is our half dollar. This is our current half dollar. You can get half dollars like these from the occasional bank, which I, but I understand that not a lot of banks stock these. And if you are lucky enough to find one, then you have a gold mine there. But, not a lot of banks stock them, so it's going to be pretty tricky if you want to complete the set from coin raw hunting. And there's bound to be some dates that you're not going to find. Say, for instance, one of the real stopper dates for the series is the 1970D. This 40% silver Kennedy half dollar was issued only in mint sets. Even though it's only worth $18, it's definitely the key date for the series. You probably will never find this coin raw hunting. I know of one person on a forum, and even then, he may have been lying. I'm not entirely sure. So what I'm trying to say is, you may end up having to buy that 1970D half dollar if you are willing to complete your set. Now, the rarity of this set, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's about, if you have a full Kennedy half dollar set, in high grade, mint state grade, uncertified, say about a 2 out of 10, maybe 3 out of 10. In mint state, they're not really worth all that much. I mean, say, look, for a mint state 63, 2005, which are not issued for circulation, it's $2. Anything before that is around $2 or $1.50, like the 2000p. In mint state 63 is a respectable grade for sets. So really, the Kennedy half dollars don't go over seven dollars for the clad mint state coins. So if you really want to collect a set of Kennedys, you should try adding the proofs because they are pretty expensive. They can get up there. Uh, like for instance, I have the 1998 silver matte finish proof which was only included in the commemorative set for 1998. And that's worth about $300. Now, if you're going to expand your set to proofs, you don't have to get that. That's another variety. But still, the Kennedy Half Dollar set is a good set for some low-end collectors. They want to get in some volume of coins, maybe want to get in a nice mint state set. The only real stopper in 63 not varieties, just for the mint state coins in uh, the regular mint mark set is the only, is 1970D, and even still, that's only $18. So let's recap. 
Low End Collector, Mint Mark Set, and Mint State 63. Low cost, only real key date is the 1970D. Now for medium end, you got your Mint Mark and proofs. Possibly you get the proofs in proof 65, maybe higher for the New World dates, and uh, some of the silver, when they're proofs, they can get a little expensive, but yeah, that's for the medium, medium end collectors. For the high ends, you get your Mint Marks, proofs, varieties, and uh, it's MS 65 plus, proof 65 plus grades, like 66 and 67. Leave a comment below if you want to request another set for me to do on another episode of Set Guides, I'm All Ears. I can do pretty much any coin you want me to. And I would also like to see your guys' sets on your channels, maybe in the sidebar more like. Remember, subscribe if you like my videos, and make sure to tune in next time. Thanks.